Hello everybody and welcome back. From now on then it's time to start with a clean slate. Clean, like we see here. But before we do that, let's have a look at a bit of history. Everything on this channel that includes making basically started out with this machine. This was my first um, plotter where I put the files online and from then on things kind of started to move on. This thing was really simple. It didn't, didn't really have anything pre-made. Just a bit of PCB board, um, an Arduino, loads of wires, but this was what it all started with. From then on things started to move on. I started making better boards. Um, those boards were made with the machine that we just saw. Um, the steppers got smaller, everything got a bit more advanced. After that things evolved even more and things got better and better, faster. The quality also got a lot better, so we had PCB boards that had far smaller lines, so we can now do lasers. Um, everything just kept moving on. Um, but, as time is, sometimes you need to move on. So, first step was we started moving on by having everything pre-printed and you could just download the files, get them printed either at your school, library or with a service and all you needed were a few extra parts like rods, um, nuts and bolts, all of these simple things. And let's put this away. Things kept being simple. Everything just started out with this simple circuit and it's been this simple circuit since the beginning. Even now that I do my engraving, um, it is still the same circuit. It looked different, I used different methods to do the same stuff, but it all boils down to this, nothing has changed so far. And I like that. And I'm going to keep it that way. But other things have changed that I cannot control. For example, the editing software that I was using, which was Eagle EDA, um, changed its licensing model. And I would have a lot of things to say about that, but I won't. Um, if you want to have my opinion on this, have a look at EEV blog number 965. That sums it up a lot better than I could say it. And uh, so, for all the things that I've done and that I'm doing, I had to look for alternatives. I suppose, yeah, there are alternatives. I needed something to keep going, um, but at the same time make it easier for other people to do it too. So, about two years ago, um, somebody got in touch with me and said, well, we're starting something up, we don't know where it's going, but we want you to try it. And that something was Easy EDA. Um, two years ago, it wasn't really ready for what I wanted to do, and uh, it didn't work with exporting um, the things in the way that I can keep using them with the things I make. But their model was really, really simple. And the only thing that I said was, well, I don't want to be online to use this software, but now that Eagle is uh, no longer an offline software, but it, re but it requires online certification, I revisited this. And after I've been talking to Easy EDA, 
JLC, JLC PCB got in touch with me and offered me free samples if I wanted to try them. And I said yes. So I took what I had and uh, instead of just copying it um, to Easy EDA, I basically recreated all my PCBs on Easy EDA. And I was pretty amazed how good it went and how good their library is. And um, after I was done, I had the same um, layouts that I wanted to have. I made some improvements on what I had. And in the end, I came out with a board that was better than the one I had before. And I could just have, have that one made by them and have it sent to me. And that's what's in this box here. Now, if you wonder who JLC PCB is, JLC PCB is one of the, if not the biggest PCB production plant in China. And for the past 10 years, they have been growing on the Chinese market and they're going global right now. Um, just a few numbers that I was able to get up. JLC PCB has more than 290,000 customers in China and they have 9,000 online orders per month. Um, that is really big. That is extremely big. They have four manufacturing plants in China and they usually have a turnaround time of about a week for small orders. And that is exactly what I needed and this is why we're going to have a look at what's, at what's inside here. And inside here are the standard uh, PCBs that I have been producing um, so far with the plotter. And um, what I'm going to do is I will move my projects um, onto their site and I will make them publicly available. So anybody who wants to have these PCBs at a really low cost um, can just order them, for them from them because I can't offer these things. Um, the reason for that is very complicated, but I can't do it. But they have a very good price for first orders, um, which is about $2 for manufacturing plus shipping. And you can get up to 10 of these boards made for you. Um, and I think that's really, that's reasonable. Um, because what I've been doing so far when I have some made and I don't need them anymore, I give them away. I give them away to schools or to friends or to kids who want to try this out. And I suppose this is a really good way of getting those things out there. So if anybody's interested, fork the project, have it made for you and give some away. That would make me really happy. So not only did I put this board online for Easy EDA, but I also put the newer board with the A4988 step sticks um, up, up there. And uh, you can also fork that project and have these made for you. These are very good and they're very versatile. You can use them for a lot of things. And additionally, I will be publishing another board, which will be a bit smaller than these. Um, that board is going to have um, the same layout as this board is um, with the um, A, no, what is it called? The ULN 2003 chips, um, but it will be a lot smaller and it will have more outputs and it will be more versatile. Um, but that will not be in a format that you can uh, use for plotting. But it will be on there. And once I have that uploaded, I will make another video and I will show you how to fork the projects and how to make one of your own and have them sent to you. Um, for now, this is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.